right, afternoon everybody. Decided to do a little live feed here so you can see what's going on, what's happening with all the dogs that we have here today. Kind of how we, how we roll, if you will. How many do we have total? Anybody know? I don't know either. I should have checked before I started. 21, 22, 23, 24. It says 24 on the schedule. Plus R5, so 29. Right? So 29 total we've got in here right now. We've got some that are uh, on the, the treadmills over here. We actually have five treadmills. Uh, Renee's dog Raven is on the one around the corner. So we got four dogs on the treadmills. Uh, we've got these other dogs chilling out. Uh, the ones on the beds were just hanging out. They're not made to, to lie down there. We got some that are playing. I got <laughs> Raven staring at me like, what in the world are you doing up there? This is weird. So uh, I'd be more than happy to answer any questions from anybody as far as uh, what you think is happening here, what we do. You can see how these, uh, these two have paired off here a little bit. We, we prefer to uh, just have them play two dogs at a time. We don't get into the threes and fours and fives because and, somebody gets outnumbered and it's not the best case scenario. You can see Matt's moving into correct. He's gonna get Winchester to move maybe. So he's gonna get him to relax. Then he'll probably drop the leash and he can go back to doing what he was doing. So it's all about chilling out a little bit. It is uh, quite brisk outside, so not a lot of outside time happening. So this is, this is gonna be good for everybody to watch. Watch what Matt's doing with Winchester here. Getting him to just kind of chill out a little bit, move him around. Itty bitty little argument. And I mean, we gotta see what's going on over here. She was just sitting right on her head. Poor Nike. You see that too, Nick? Did you see that? Yeah. She was sitting right on her head. She was cleaning his ears. Yeah, but her butt was on Nike's head. Oh my gosh. Poor Nike. If I can pan back out here. So this is kind of midday uh, time for us. You can see what's happening down here. Just trying to get him moving around a little bit. He wants to play and doesn't want to do much of anything else right now. And you can see little corrections happen here or there. And we don't freak out about it. It's all in communication. Andre says, Nike's used to it. Denali sits on her all the time. <laughs> that means she felt more like at home. So for those of you just joining us, these, these, uh, these dogs on beds were not made to, to be put there. We are just, uh, we put them out for them. If they want to lay down, they can. Uh, Duke is actually down here. He's one of our board and train dogs. You see he's got something red on his face. It's actually a halty. So this is part of his uh, conditioning to it, getting more and more, more used to it. And then uh, Ruby over here, the chocolate right here, moving around, is one of our board and train dogs. They each just had a session going outside working on their leash work under distractions. So I got a couple dogs underneath me down here. Kind of got a bird's eye view of what's happening. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to, to ask. It 
it looks boring because it kind of should be boring. At least for staff. If they're constantly, constantly, constantly going after certain dogs to chill them out, then they're not doing it uh, correctly. Uh, Matt, right now, this is, our, this is our back door to going outside. A little maybe bathroom run or whatever. It's a very small fenced in area, like a hallway of fencing. And uh, Renee here has got uh, Remington. He's actually going to start start training with us next week. So we're just kind of uh, hanging out with the group. This is a lot of times why uh, daycares will have downtimes throughout the day because the dogs are actually naturally doing it right now. You see, this is this is all them naturally doing it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Be more than happy to uh, answer. This is kind of like a uh, in the fishbowl kind of look right now with what's happening. Again, we got some dogs on treadmills over on the corner. Uh, let's see, Renee just said, I just started to introduce the treadmill to my three-year-old black lab. I still have to stand next to her when she walks and needs to encourage her to keep walking. Wondering how fast and how long you keep your dogs going on them. Um, hey, Nick, can you tell me like how fast Odin is going on the treadmill, please? I'm going to have Nick over there. He's going to check on Odin. So right now, uh, <clears throat> Odin, this dog on the end, is going 1.6 miles an hour. So you can see he's on the slower side than uh, Misty, the black and white one over there. Of course, she's got some shorter legs too. So somewhere 1.5 to 2 is good. And then somewhere in the ballpark of 15 to 30 minutes, depending on your dog's overall energy level, which is always something to keep in consider consideration. So, or if you wanna do a couple of 15 minute sessions a day too. I mean, ideally you don't want it to completely take the place of a walk, but when it's just gnarly outside and it's cold and it's chilly, sometimes you have to. Just give them something else to do. Uh, and he is not. So you can see almost all the beds over here are all taken up. It's like the snuggle corner. Ray's just kind of hanging out. This would be my dog, May. And the husky, a little correction. Yes, I'm uh, quite pleased, Ann. So she just got a little too excited, so Nick just redirected her elsewhere. And so you can see Renee and Matt both have dogs on, on leashes right now, so we try to keep at least one person hands-free at all times, just for safety precautions. Regina, we do. We have 29 dogs in here right now, total. They are uh, a little tuckered out from the morning's playtime, and it's kind of like nap time right now, too. This is what I like about the upstairs part of uh, our building, so you guys can kind of get a bird's eye view of what's happening. down to two on a treadmill. Figured everybody would want a little uh, break on their lunch break today. Come check out a lot of dogs.
This is a newbie that uh, Chelsea's got over there. Whoop. A little too excited. Jeez. So there's not a lot happening. You got like about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dogs out of 29 moving around. Well, 11 including the treadmill. Like I said, this is our, our cuddle corner over here. They're all quite comfy. And quite tired. Let me know if you have any questions. These two are like brother and sister, May and Akita. So we currently have 29 dogs in here. Things are pretty chilled out right now. It's like uh, 10, 15 degrees outside with the wind blowing, so it's a little chilly. <laughs> She's staring at me like, what in the world are you doing? It's a little unsure. It's funny. Funny, funny. All right, hopefully this guy, this uh, gives you guys a little break for your lunch break. You guys have a good Monday.